Hey everyone, Paula Ponte here with eXp Realty and I wanted to take a minute to teach you about thumbnails and how I've been making them. I'm no expert by any means, but I have um, come a long way, I think, in the process of technology stuff. So I kind of figure if I can do it, you absolutely can do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen, but before I do, <clears throat> I wanna share with you that there are basically just two websites that I go to in order to create a thumbnail for my YouTube videos. One is canva.com, which I'm sure many of you have heard of. Um, canva.com has so many resources that I haven't even dived into all of them yet. The other one is remove.bg, and a lot of people haven't heard of that site before, and I'm gonna show you what remove.bg can do, okay? So I have taken photographs of myself just today, and you'll be able to see <clears throat> in just a moment. I'm gonna share my screen with you. It's gonna be a little bit of a, little bit of a mess. I'm gonna share my entire screen so you can kind of see me go back and forth here. Okay, so. You can see I have a couple of different windows open, but this is the remove.bg uh, website, and literally it's remove.bg, no .com, nothing like that. So what I've done, I use Apple, but you can use this on any device. Um, you can use it from your phone, and you can use it um, from an Android or Microsoft Office. <clears throat> but I'm gonna put in these two photos, and I've actually just meant to really just do the one, so. I can do the other one after. So we'll start with this one. So this picture I literally took here um, in my house and I <clears throat> wanted to take away the background so that I can upload it into Canva. So all I'm going to do in order to be able to utilize this picture is I'm gonna click the download button and then I will open it up down here. And I'm going to save this onto my desktop. Save as, and we'll just save it there. Okay. All right, so we're gonna use that thumbnail as an example. So I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need this anymore. And we're just gonna keep this open. So for the purposes, I'm also gonna get rid of this because we don't need that open. Oops. All right, so for the purposes of creating the thumbnail, what I do is I go to, when we actually already have it open, would like to get away from that and start over so you can see, I go to YouTube channel art and I click on YouTube channel art. <clears throat> then the first thing I do is I go to uploads on the left-hand side here towards the bottom and I upload an image and I'm gonna take that image that I uploaded from my remove.bg, and you'll see I'll have that image there. So if I take that image and put it on my main screen here, I can now add any kind of background that I choose. So if I wanted to just do a solid colored background, I can certainly pick a solid color and then add my font from there. If I wanted to, and I usually do go with solid colors, but if I wanted to add something that had texture, your design, I can do that. So this one happens to have some patterns, but if I wanted something that, let's say like textures here, I can add any of these backgrounds. And you know, I'm a real estate agent, so obviously when I pick something, if I was gonna do a background with texture or a pattern, I'd want it to be something that was real estate related. But for my personal channel, I've decided that I really just wanna do some solid colors. I usually stick with greens, yellows, blues, and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and for this channel, go ahead and go with a pretty blue. I think I'll maybe kind of tilt myself here. Something else that's pretty cool that you can do, I just wanna share this, is that you can take um, an element, and let's say I wanna just take one of these shapes we can go with a circle and I can drag this circle and make it make it big, okay? And I'll show you where I'm going with this. And then I can go here to where it shows the color box up on the top corner. And I could take this color, this circle, and I could make it um, white, right? And I can drag this out a little bit more. 
and you can pull it out even more. And then I can take this image that's in the back currently. I got to select the photo and go to position and I'm going to pull forward. So now I've got myself a little bit of a, of a background here, <clears throat> just something different. And then if I wanted to, and actually, you know what I think I'm going to do because of the way my arm is kind of tilting out there, I think I'm going to move it over here. And I don't particularly like that fact that I look cut off. So I'm going to actually make this lower. Yeah, there we go. So now I actually like the way that looks. Now I can go ahead and add some text. And today I interviewed Karen Carr. For those of you who know her, she needs no introduction. But if you don't know her, she does a, um, she has a YouTube for real estate agents channel on her YouTube page. And she also does YouTube for real estate agents on her Facebook. And she's like my age. So I just kind of connect with her. I really do like what she puts out there for helping agents start their YouTube channel. So I'm going to make my thumbnail interview with, whoops, with Karen. And that's how you spell her name, Carr. And I'm going to call her the YouTube for, whoops, YouTube for real estate agents. And then I'm going to put queen. That's just my added touch. So <clears throat> You can then size your font. You can either do it by clicking and dragging like I'm doing right here, or you can do it by changing the fonts right here on top. So either way you like it. And then once you click away from the box, it does allow you to um, move the box the way that you want it to be moved. So I think I'm gonna pretty much make it, <clears throat> I think kind of towards the center of the, of this here. Cool. So there you have it. This is a thumbnail for my latest YouTube video. And it was super easy to make. I think I'm actually, I want to put agents. There we go. I really want to do that. Sorry, I'm being very technical right now. Let's see. My head looks like it's cut off. Just when I thought I was done, I'm gonna to have to just make this smaller. So you can actually take just the one line if, I, if you want to, the way that I want to right now, and you can make that one line smaller. So this way I can fit it all. So yeah, that's how I would like it to look. I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Oh, before I stop sharing my screen, I should tell you, see, I told you I was a newbie. I'm going to save this. So there's two ways of saving the file. You can either save it as a PNG file or you can save it as a JPEG. PNG definitely offers a higher quality image. However, when using it for YouTube as a thumbnail, it's better that you use save it as a JPEG because of the fact that the size fits and YouTube doesn't reject it. It's kind of simple. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of there. It's going to pop up over here. And there you have it. So now I can go ahead and take this and save this as my thumbnail. And I'm going to put it on my desktop. And I'm going to actually say that this is a thumbnail. Otherwise, it's going to get confused with how I titled. I usually just write TN for thumbnail. And I'm going to save it. And there you go. So if you want to see this, thumbnail in use for my video with Karen Carr, then just go to that video, which is already uploaded. I just have to add the thumbnail. I didn't have it ready because I figured I was going to make a video in how to do it. So hope you enjoyed. Hope that was easy enough. So two programs, I'll put the links in, in the description. It is canva.com and remove.bg. Both of them are completely free. That's the best thing. Completely free. Like you don't have to pay a dollar 
to do this if you want to. Now Canva does have some upgraded versions of their program that you can certainly do and pay for, but you don't have to in order to make a thumbnail. So hope you enjoy it and I hope you get something out of it. Definitely hit the like and subscribe button if you've learned anything at all and if you wanna see more content coming your way.